These panels are from the collection of motion picture set designer Robert Boyle. The panels are prominent in the closing barroom fight, and John Wayne quite literally filmed his very last scene of his final movie in front of these actual pieces. More interested in comfort and safety over show, John Wayne's personal automobiles were a familiar sight in Newport Beach, California. This 1972 Pontiac Grand Safari station wagon was customized by George Barris to accommodate John Wayne's 6 feet 4 inch frame. This exhibit contains the original jaunting car, which appears throughout the movie. In the days before the automobile arrived in Ireland, these one-horse vehicles were common throughout the country. Maureen acquired this cart and kept it for many years at her home in Ireland. Also on display is Maureen's own Connemara shawl, which appears perhaps a dozen times in The Quiet Man. According to the actress, the shawl was a gift from her mother and Maureen cherished it for more than 60 years. John Wayne permanently established himself as a leader of men in the Calvary Trilogy. Directed by John Ford and filmed in the remote landscapes of Monument Valley and Moab, Utah, these pictures provided the world a lasting image of the American ideals of duty, honor, and courage. Five years, beginning with the Flying Leathernecks in 1951, it was John Wayne's custom to design and distribute keepsake coffee mugs to the entire cast and crew who worked in all of his movies up to and including The Shootist. These high quality ceramic mugs featured gilt handles, engraved images, and personalized messages of appreciation. This rare hand signed Andy Warhol print depicts John Wayne in The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. The artwork was gifted to the John Wayne Birthplace Museum by John and Murph Burke.
John Wayne permanently established himself as a leader of men in the cavalry. Oh, boy.